Hi, welcome back to Vlogmas Day 29. How's everyone's weekend? Hopefully it is good. Supposed to be freezing rain. That's what we heard. Whether or not it was just going to rain and then freeze the, the rain on the road, I don't know. But black ice is not good. I have my butterfly cup tonight. And this is uh, coconut something. Coconut caramel. And I think I put hazelnut in it. <laughs> it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. It really is. And I think that was the last of the Thanksgiving flavors. Because they had a box of Thanksgiving still left in December. So I got one of each. Doug bought them. <laughs> and they had a couple of flavors that were similar between the two. But most of them were like pumpkin pie and apple pie <laughs> apple pie is really sweet mm -hmm. so what a crazy day it was today it's been a very in a way productive day but I didn't get a lot of crocheting done I got some done but not a lot <laughs> but ideas 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 um, one of the things that went on this morning was, of course, the winner for this Barcelona for the D-Stash, weekly D-Stash, was picked. So that's going to be on its way to Pam. And yes, Pam won two weeks in a row, which is unusual. But when there's only a few, like 20-something people entering... And they're usually not all the same 27, 25, 27. Then a lot of times someone will win twice. I'm not going to change that yet. Um, I'm going to leave that alone for now. Because it's, it's the picker and that's what was drawn. So um, Next week's D-Stash is out. It is something that I am able to get and other people are not I guess I so I'm lucky I heard that it's very limited so it's a Karen latte cakes this is a colorway that I got last year but I kept them on my one shelf and um, I just used a few so every time they were on sale I grabbed another one another one you know, and so I did get a nice little supply of them, but I don't have a lot of each color. So I thought, well, let somebody else try it out, you know. So this is a Karen Latte Cakes. How you win this is you go over to the Facebook group and comment on the D-Stash for this week in the announcements tab. It'll be a picture of this and it'll tell you what the rules are. Um, this is a big roll, a big cake. It is 530 yards in this. And I've made a lot of things out of one before. You can make a, a cowl and it doesn't even seem to take hardly any of it. It's like a third of it. And the next thing you know, I, mean, I made a sweater out of, I think, three of these. It, it, they go far. Um, and the great thing about this one is it's 58% acrylic and 42% nylon because some of the Karen products do have wool in them, but this one does not. And it's very soft. It's a five bulky, but it it's just because of the halo because it's not really re that thick really. And uh, well, what else? The, oh, the colorway. Let's put that colorway up there and see if I can show you there. You can see that some of this is almost a pink, very light pink. And it is a stripe. And the color is called Kissy Kissy. So that's next week's D-Stash prize. 
Um, I I did uh, put up a weekly um, uh, update for the for the Facebook group, and it was telling a lot of the things that are coming up and what is ending this week because not only is this week the end of Vlogmas for the YouTube channel and has a giveaway but over on the Facebook page there's the end of show and tell for December and that has a mystery bag giveaway so I have those two drawings going on and um, then we have our new scarf challenge that's ongoing we have our new hat um, make along that just started and I went crazy and I already posted a couple hats and I'm having a good time with that because I told you I I, I love making hats so now <laughs> now it's like an incentive to make more <laughs> so I'm gonna show you my latest hat which some of you probably already saw it because I posted this morning I couldn't wait so here it is it is a slouchy I had started it yesterday and showed it yesterday it is a bulky six and it is a slouchy so um, it's it's very very like plush and and uh, some bulkies will come out to me um, like a thick like like real thick and you can't like squish them but this particular yarn that I picked is very squishy it is the charisma six bulky charisma by loops and threads and it's just really squishy so when you do the hat in a L I did it in the L. Um, it seems to come out even squishy, you know, just as squishy as it does in the cake or in the in the in the skein. And I decided to put on two wooden buttons on mine, two decorative buttons. And that was how the back is done. This is a pattern from Jennifer at Fiberflux. I'll link the pattern down in the in the description box um, but it is gathered at the last two rows so I like that too that is really sweet I just like that pattern um, there is a, a fault line on this so I I turned it to the back and and I'm thinking it's because it's such thick yarn but you know it's not that bad at least it's straight <laughs> I'm not happy about a fault line. In fact, the next time I do it, I think I may possibly try it a little bit different to try to get that down because it is showing so much. It, I guess you could say this is a beginner pattern because, again, she doesn't do a finished edge. She um, just does the pattern. And um, it can it can be tweaked a little bit but I really like it either way I really do in fact I like it so much that well what I did figure out was that it took a whole roll of loops and threads plus another like not quite half maybe a third of another skein so now I have this skein that's already been used and it, you can't quite tell so I always mark on it that it's a partial so that I don't mess up but what I'm gonna do is because I know this is a partial I am going to take this and make another brim with it the first I think it's four rows of the brim and then I'm gonna use this partial that I have and this is a loops and threads charisma also in a bulky six which is the color oh it's a marble um, 
says marble. Oh, granite. It's called granite, but it's purples. See them? I'm going to use this for the rest of the hat. So I'm going to use that as the brim and this marble granite for the rest and see how it comes out. So we'll see. I'm just excited about trying it a second time and just tweaking it a little bit. So anyway, I hope you guys try that. And if you do, go over to the Facebook page and drop a picture of your hat in the hats, hats, and more. Because you never know when your picture might be um, picked as the winner for the month. Because that's a month, every month into 2020. Um, it's going to be fun. It already is fun. <laughs> Speaking of another uh, make-along, um, oh, quit saying um, right? Uh, Christy Cook and I have decided from t Dottles that we don't want our fun to end. So all day long, we've been discussing and talking about something. We're cooking up here. <laughs> So there's going to be a make-along. We definitely know that. Um, how much more I can tell you? Not a lot. Because I don't want to spoil a surprise. But I can say that look for that to have an announcement next Thursday. Not this coming Thursday. So it'll be in January uh, the 9th most likely. Um, we might sneak a few more sneaky you know little things out before then but um, I do know that we're gonna have a place a special place for you guys who want to participate to post your finished objects um, and it won't be on it won't it'll have its own group page I do know that much so between maybe tomorrow and the next week we'll get that group page set up and then you can all join it so then when things are announced because it's going to be a monthly thing that you will get notifications of it in that group so you don't have to wait for us to do it on YouTube or on our Facebook pages so that is very interesting <laughs> there's going to be all kinds of of different things going on in that too because um, we're trying to combine two different kinds of channels together she was doing a lot of yarny stuff with me in December and she doesn't usually do that much yarny stuff so that said the two channels together are going to be different kinds of stuff that she does and stuff that I do so that makes it even more fun. And we did pick a name already. So that's kind of fun too. All right. Well, um, let's see. This Tonight is the 29th. So it's not my turn. Um, I showed you everything I made. I guess I don't have nothing else to say tonight. Oh, well. That's okay. Hope you like my hat, and um, please go over and check out all the different kind of make-alongs going on over there. And, um, oh yeah, um, if anybody has any advice on Tunisian hooks, I'd like to get a set of those here pretty quick. I did not buy them yet. I'm looking for some advice. Um, on anything good or anything bad that you've heard about any of the sets so that I know to steer clear of or to look at and watch for certain ones. I've got a whole bunch of them saved on my um, list uh, on Amazon to look at so to, or, you know to I'm looking at in fact because I waited already one of them sold out so I'm like ah there was only one of the one set on there. Of course, I probably could get it from somewhere else, but not at that price and not for free shipping. So, 
anyway, I hope everyone's having a nice Sunday. I'll see you tomorrow for Vlogmas, and good night, everybody.